in previous session we have seen the derivation regarding solid and hollow shaft for the strength basis as well as rigidity basis now we'll see the asab code because it is very important to find out the shear stress occur in the system so asab means what american society of mechanical engineers so they have defined some codes so that code i am going to discuss in case of the shaft only correct so i have mentioned the title over here asab code for shaft design now there are the two conditions as we know generally generally shaft is taking a more load as like a gear pulleys sprockets so we'll have to design a shaft on the basis of considering various kind of the stresses but while taking a load shaft permissible stress is very important so that we need to calculate and as we know most of the time shaft for designing of the shaft the material is always a ductile material with the percentage of the carbon more which will give the strength to the shaft so that here we consider the ductile material generally it can be used for the designing of the shaft now when ductile is there as we know from the stress strain curve in case of the ductile ductile nature is that it will give the proof stress upper end lower end and then breaking point so what is that upper lower end upper and lower end means it will gives the indication before crack so that's why in case of the ductile material there are the two strength one is syt yield strength and tension and another is sut ultimate ten ultimate tensile strength so these are the two strength in case of the brittle material direct sut is available so here we are going to consider first of all material is ductile now asm is suggested that while taking the shear stress you will have to consider if it if it is there yield strength will have to consider 30% yield will have to consider so i'll write first condition as per the asm tau max is equal to 0.30 of syt yield strength 30% and they have suggested ultimate tensile strength you will have to take 18% 18 so again i'll write the second condition 0.18% of sut so these two conditions they have given and in addition to that they have suggested if the material is of course for the shaft so shaft is having keyways so keyways means we'll have to make a slot on the shaft so because of the slot if keyway is present listen carefully if keyway is present or we can say shaft is keyed so keyway is present then that value is reduced up to 25% so 25% it will be reduced so asm code suggested that maximum shear stress that we generally calculate in previous things are 0.5 syt by fs factor of safety instead of that you will have to take the minimum value minimum value see minimum of this minimum of this it means minimum of this i will have to write suppose this answer is 70 newton per mm square and this is 114 newton per mm square in that case minimum is 70 so i'll take 70 here for the multiplication and tau max is equal to it will reduce when keyway is present that is 25% so remaining is 75 so our value is 0.75 percentage ani and we'll have to take minimum value of about 2 correct so likewise we'll have to calculate tau max that is maximum shear stress here as a example in between 70 and 114 70 is lesser so i will have to multiply by 70 that value is in newton per mm square and that would be we can use for the designing of the shaft now where it use as we know shaft design on the tens strength basis we have written tau max is equal to 16 by pi d cube square root of here we have taken mp square plus mt square correct in solid shaft but if they have suggested or if they have asked for the 
a semi code design a shaft on the basis of a semi code here i will have to use the two factor which is called as a kb and kt so what is kb kb is combined shock and fatigue factor for bending and kt means combined shock and fatigue factor for torsion correct so here i'll write kb mb square kt mt square both the square so my equation would be i'll again write for your understanding that is tau max is equal to 16 by pi d cube square root of kb mb square plus kt mt square and this value we have calculated from asm so asm is suggested no change in the equation only we'll have to take asm factor as like first of all in case of the syt we'll have to take 30% that is 0.30 of syt for ultimate tensile strength we'll have to take 0.18 that is 0.18 times after that we'll have to reduce the value 0.75 that is 25% uh, reduction out of 100 it means remaining is 75 So 75 and select multiply the value which is minimum of about two. So we'll have to take minimum. That's why this will be the tau max and that we'll have to use here. And as per the equation, we'll have to use two parameter K B and K D. It is nothing but bending and torsional parameter and that can be select from the chart. Of course, how the chart is given? Chart is given if load is gradually. The K B and K T values are different. If load is heavy, K B and K T values are different. It is chart. If load is shock, K B and K T values are different. So whatever the value given in the numerical, you can take. If not, we can use a design data book that would be available in the exam. Correct. So K B and K T value we can use or directly get from the chart. Correct. So this will be called as a A S M E coding. I hope you understood that ASME code how to work, how to utilize for the designing of the shaft. Now, in next lecture, we'll see the numericals on ASME coding. I hope you understood this session. Thank you.